In New Zealand, we're lucky that there's heaps of boating activity to choose from. Unfortunately, there are too many people going boating without the knowledge to keep themselves and others safe. This attitude is killing people. Coast Guard Boating Education wants to make boating in New Zealand a safe and super cool experience for everyone. They are teaming up with the local pool to deliver a safe boating course to kids like me. We learn about life jackets, why to wear it and how to fit it. We also learn about safety gear, boat stability and what to do if you end up in the water. But most of all, we have lots of fun. What happens when I go fishing with my friends down the road? Sometimes there is no life jacket for me and I don't know how to fit one anyway. Life jackets save lives. Think of it a bit like a seatbelt. You wouldn't wait until it crashed to put one on. Put your life jacket on before you get on the boat and leave it on until you get back off. How do we get help if we need it? You need to take at least two waterproof methods of communication with you. Cell phones can be out of range or battery. They're usually not waterproof and don't float, unless you put it in one of these. The touch screen still works, and if you fall in the water, you can still call for help. A waterproof VHF radio is a great option. Heaps more people hear you, and Coast Guard are always listening on channel 16, the emergency channel. What happens if I fall overboard? If I fall overboard, or end up in the water, the first minute I'm in the water is the most crucial. Most people tend to panic and use their energy and body warmth, flapping around and trying to swim. I need to help myself, so I get into the help position while I'm figuring out what happened and what to do next. Help stands for heat, escape, lessening, posture. I do this when I'm by myself in the water by crossing my arms over my upper body, crossing my legs, and lift them towards my chest a little. This keeps my core and all the organs inside it much warmer. It is also a better use of my energy. The huddle position is used to keep a group together. You put your arms around each other's waist and link legs. This keeps you tight together as a group, makes it easier for a search party to find you, and makes you aware of how the rest of your group is doing. The middle of the huddle is the best place to put the oldest, youngest, coldest, or most injured person in the group. This position saves lives. After the boating safety program, we've got life skills that will help us make better decisions around boats the rest of our lives. And we'll go home and tell our families. For more information on safe boating, visit your local pool. If they don't run out, ask them to. For more information, check out www.boatingeducation.org.nz. A big shout out to Maritime New Zealand for funding this video.